Hey guys, welcome back. So, the project that I am making today is actually a custom order that I have for a snowman snow globe. So, that's what I have here. My little snowman snow globe mold. And you'll see, see I originally wasn't going to film this, but then I decided, hey, why the heck not? So, I have painted his scarf with uh, Snow Queen Blue uh, powder. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word real quick. And cleaned up around it as best I could um, once I turned it inside out or right side out. And I have six ounces total here of my Tanserax one to one um, epoxy resin. And I have taken out one ounce for his hat, because his hat is going to be a different color. So I have run this through the uh, debubbler for about nine minutes, and you can see there is just some pin bubbles on the top there, just left over. Voila! Hold on. Uh, clarity. You see, my phone agrees. So the snowman itself is, takes five ounces of resin, the hat takes one ounce. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, duh, pour in some clear resin. And I'm going to be kind of slow about it, just to make sure that everything goes in properly. And as I'm pouring, I'm going to sort of give his head a, a bit of a squish. Just to make sure that we don't get any bubbles in there. Or the least amount of bubbles as possible. Let me put it that way. Just going around. Squish, 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 squish. I wish you guys could really see better, but you know, hey, I do the best that I can with what I got, right? Uh, so let's finish filling them up. And this is actually going to be a Christmas gift for my favorite roommate, Kevin's mother. So I want to make sure that it turns out really well. Because without her, I wouldn't have the best roommate in the whole wide world. So thanks, Mrs. Kevin's mom. Tap, 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 tap. We have a drip. We have a paper towel. We have no more drip. All right, so we're going to move him off to the side here. I'm kind of doing his thing. Now, in the hat, what I'm going to do is I've got some of the Snow Queen Blue uh, alcohol ink that I made. And I'm going to give it a healthy squirt. Knock things off of my shelf. Let you know, hey, why not, right? And then gently Stir it in. So now let's pour our hat. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't have the heat mat on or anything like that because I don't want to uh, overheat the resin and make it uh, cure faster than I want it to because when, if you know resin, you'll know, but if you don't, then you're about to. Uh, if you heat resin up too quickly, it has a tendency to make lots and lots of bubbles. And I don't want that. And I also don't want it to flash cure. 
So right now in my craft room slash office slash living room slash whatever, the heat is on because it is currently 48 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, so it is about 79 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees C in my office. Uh, so this should cure not super fast uh, because of course that's ambient temperature. Um, I'm right by the back door so uh, it is a little bit cooler. Um, so anyway, we're going to let this cool our uh, cure and I will see you guys for next steps. See you soon. Why is it always that you, you know, you, you put lotion on your hands about five seconds before you actually want to demold something and then, you know, the mold keeps going, uh, maybe it's just me. All right, so let's get this guy out. I'm going to do his little hat first. Voila. Oh, look how pretty that turned out. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. So shiny. Tell you what, I love that Snow Queen blue. It's in the set of uh, chameleon powders that I have uh, in the description box. It's by a brand called Alexis. They have so many pretty colors. No dude. Out of there. Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. So can we take a moment here to please appreciate this clarity? I mean, there's tiny seriously. Hello. That looks so good. So good. I'm so pleased with his little hat on to look like that. So before I uh, go filling him up, I do want to go ahead and let him finish curing outside of the mold for a few hours, probably overnight, uh, just to make sure that everything is good and cured. Um, so as soon as that happens, we'll come back and we'll fill him up with this. A very sparkly blue and silver and iridescent and everything blend. So I will see you guys then. Okie doke. So it is time to fill up our little dude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the inside of it with just a very soft microfiber cloth and just make sure that I get out any fingerprints or dust or scuzz or whatever. Uh, since we're going to be sealing this up, I just want to make sure that there's nothing on the inside uh, before we put in our stuff. So in here, I have about a half ounce of mineral oil, and I have added some of my glitter to it. Uh, just to moisten up the glitter, you know, because if you put glitter in there, uh, there is a chance, or dry, you know, uh, there is a chance that it'll stick to the sides uh, because of static, and it's virtually impossible to get it off. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of lubrication uh, beforehand. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some just water to our mineral oil blend. And we'll see how far that gets us. It might be too much, it might not be enough. Don't know. We'll find out. I just want to get it mixed up. And some people are like, oh, you don't need to mix it up. I do mix it up just because that's my personal preference. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh -oh. So, go ahead. And I am going to leave a bit of a bubble at the top. That's a great amount. Um, so, uh, it, it has plenty of room to move around in there. And also, so when I seal it up, it doesn't get stuck. 
stuck. Now, that being said, what I am going to use to seal up the top is Solid Builder Nail Gel. Uh, so basically, what this is, is it's just uh, one, hard to open, two, it's literally gel UV resin. Uh, so it's just really thick UV resin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a little snake and go around the perimeter of my hat. And I like using this stuff as opposed to glue or, you know, regular UV resin because it's very thick and it stays where you put it. Um, and I don't have to worry about it squidging out and getting all weird and running down into my liquid or anything like that. I have tried regular UV resin. I have tried super glue. I have tried many things of the liquid adhesive variety. And I like to use this the most. Also because it uh, is thicker, it tends to seal up the uh, cavity a lot better does take a little bit of extra time to cure, but okay. And you're like, well, why aren't you using gloves? Do you wear gloves when you go to the nail salon and they put UV gel resin on, on your fingernails? No? Okay. Uh, and that's all this stuff is. It's nail gel. You know, come on. So now that I have it all the way around the rim, see it? I'm going to figure out where I want to put it. Okay, and I do want a little bit more of our liquid in there. I just wanted to see how much space I had. Because I didn't want to fill it up too much and run the risk of it coming out when I squished the lid down. That's on there. Put his little head on and squish. And then I'm going to cure this with my UV lamp for many, many minutes just to make sure that it's good and cured. And I will see you back when it's time for next. Gee, Rev, why is the uh, snowman upside down? Well, let me tell you why. Because I was turning it upside down, A, to make sure that it didn't have any leaks, and B, so I could cure it from the other side to make sure that I don't have any leaks. So I was using my handy-dandy handmade uh, turtle that I, that I use for my personal stuff, not my uh, actual into-resin one. So here he is. This is our little duder so far. Shaky, shaky. And you see, adding the glitter to the mineral oil helps suspend it better so it doesn't all just go, you know, just sink to the bottom. Uh, it helps just make it look better. So now, next steps, back to our gel. And links for this stuff are in the description box. Got it from Amazon. Comes with three colors, clear, white, and pink. Applicable tools of application. And uh, yeah, it works really well. And each of these little pots is 20 grams. So, all right, so here we have way too much of the builder gel. So I'm gonna actually use half that because I don't want too big of a nose is what we're making. We're making a little carrot nose. 
And one another thing I like about this is it's, you know, you can manipulate it really easily. So what I'm going to do is just turn it into a roughly carrot shaped protrusion, <laughs> if you will. And we're going to stick it to our snowman. Get where I want it. Eek. Let me get it centered. Grab old faithful. And something to hold it still so it doesn't roll over. So I'm just grabbing a little silicone bung. People think it's funny when I call it that, but you know, honey. And then we're going to nuke it for uh, 150 seconds and I will see you back when it's done. All right, so that's done and you can see our little nose is stuck. Now, what we're gonna do is I reached into my handy dandy bag of sparkly shit and grabbed my copper, it is copper, it's not the gold one, copper, um, gold foil and I am going to use that to give our carrot some color. Now I did consider using um, orange glitter but meh. And if you've used gold foil you know that this stuff gets everywhere. So you know be prepared for some cleanup if you do this. I need a pokey tool of choice. Where is my pokey tool that I want? I want the tiny one. Here we go. Pokey tool. And all I'm doing is since the UV gel is still a little bit sticky as it is, I'm just going over and sticking the pieces of my foil onto it and it will stick. See? Stick. Alright, so now that we've got that covered I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and over here beside me and dust off my pearl. And if I don't have complete carrot coverage, then that's okay. I don't mind. Not a big deal. I just want the majority of it covered anyway. See? Mess. But I now have sparkly silicone. So, bright side. So what I'm going to do now that our carrot is covered with foil is I am going to, sorry, noisy, uh, grabbing my baby wipes, I am going to clean this off as much as I can, or at least just, you know, stick it down. You can get this stuff off of silicone mats. It just takes a minute, and I'm not being real pedantic about it right now because I'm filming. So, now that that's done, I'm going to use Old Faithful again, cure it for another few minutes, just to make sure that the foil is good and stuck. So I'll see you then. Alright, so that's been about a minute and a half. 
or so. So we've got that done. And the next thing I want to do is I want to seal that gold on or copper on. So what are we going to use for that? Nail polish. Just clear, boring, dull nail polish, courtesy of the Dollar Shrub. And just paint that on there. You can use UV resin if you want to. You can use whatever you want. You can use varnish. Or anything, but you know, hey, nail polish works perfectly. <laughs> cheap and easy, people. Cheap and easy. It's the theme of my channel. Cheap and easy, just like me. All right, so we're gonna let that do its thing. Is his nose slightly off center? Yeah. Is yours perfect? No. No, it's not. Anyway, all right, we're gonna let this dry, and I'll see you soon. All right, his nose is all dry, his hat is all cured, his sparkliness is fabulous. There he is, our little snowman. <laughs> I love him. I think he turned out super cute. And, uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think she'll love it? I hope she loves it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.